Hello there. This video is regarding graceful handling of play services files for Google login in Unity. Now I often get support requests where people are just not doing it right. What happens is they have multiple third party packages which require different version of play services or Google support libraries or pretty much any third party library and what happens is when you have different libraries requesting different version of this android or android resources conflicts starts happening in your project and you are just wondering what is going wrong and uh, most of the solutions which i find by searching uh, they end up confusing me more than actually helping me out this video will shed some better light on how to handle it and uh, by the end of this you will have less problems with your unity project especially when it comes to android so this plugin is currently being used by our google login unity package it is also used by firebase sdk it is also used by facebook since last three months many other third party ads analytics and other packages that you use will rely on this to make sure that the resolution goes well and there are other packages out there who don't use it they will just ship the file with unity package and when you import it it will start giving conflict in your projects because the version they might be using might not be the version which others are using i know so so far it might be a little confusing but let's have a look at what i'm actually talking about all right in android sdk installation folder you can see many of these files and we will go through it just in a while let's first have a look at the facebook package i am trying 7.1 so in facebook you will see the facebook does not ship with any r file other than what is specifically built by facebook so what they have started using is so you will see they have they also they ship with play services resolver and i'm not sure which version it is because it is not tagged so uh, because i am downloading it by myself usually so i uncheck this one and import the facebook sdk similarly when you will look at the firebase so suppose if you're using analytics package it also hardly ships with any r file and you will see that this also ships with play services resolver and at the time of this video it was 1.2.45 whereas the latest version is 1.2.52 so if you import this on the top of facebook what will happen is you will start getting errors in your project because multiple versions of these files are not allowed so what we have is 1.2.50 at the moment so this package could be downloaded from this URL and you can just go to the latest package which is out there and get it for yourself all right so enough on this package so how it is used so I'm gonna show you how Facebook uses it Facebook does not expose the version numbers in their project but it is available on their uh, open source project so you will see what Facebook does is uh, it uses uh, support v4 25.3.1 app compact v7 card view and custom tabs so uh, they have written a very nice function which automatically puts this code for all the packages they need and they ultimately look for com.android.support so what is com.android support when you will look into android sdk installation folder you will see extras android m2 repository so from here it starts comp.android.support and you will see all these files here so whether it is support v4 or whether it is card view app compared or custom tabs basically but the unity jar resolver can always download these files for you so you can see 25.3.1 is the latest and I still have 26.x alpha version along with my project. So Facebook doesn't need any play services file. Uh, they just use com.android.support files. 
Now, what Firebase needs is something different. What they use uses instead of Android, their files resides here. So you will see com.google.android.gms, which I will just show you it in a bit. So there you will find anything which is Play Services related, whether it is Play Services Ads, which is required by AdMob, or Play Services Auth, which is required by us for login, or any other, any other dependent library which has Play Services. This follows different versioning than uh, support libraries. This, uh, at my in my project, the latest version is 11.0.4, but what I'm using is 11.2.0, which is what even Google uses. Also, you will find the Firebase resolves it, its dependencies through this. So for that, the package will be com.google.firebase. And uh, the latest version that I have installed is 11.0.4, but again, the 11.2.0 is what is latest. For some reason, both of these are following the same versioning, uh, but it might not be same in future. All right, so we have seen what Facebook uses, 25.3.1, and they are using com.android.support. So this is what I have added in this slide for com.android.support. It com it covers Android support libraries, whether it is design, app compat, v7, or any other thing that you have. When it comes to the other package, which is Play Services, you are going to use com.google.android.gms, and that is going to support Play Services file. So how do you find these files in your project? If you want to see Firebase, you can search for com.google.android.gms. Right, we can have a full search on this. All right, so app depths is what is used by Firebase editor and all these files will always reside in an editor folder. So what Firebase does is it is picking up play services base with version 11.2.0. Now, if you have a project which is using also using Play Services base with some other version or Play Services, anything Play Services which, it, which is with some other version, you're going to have a conflict with it. And what will happen is you will have these files might just give some kind of error depending on um, your project building error or runtime error, pretty much anything is possible. You can also see Google also picks the dependency of Firebase using com.google.firebase package. Because it will be used exclusively by Google, it won't really have any problem. But these kind of packages, which is especially Play Services related, always give problem because multiple third-party projects are gonna use it and it will have problems related to which project package you are using. So let's finally look at our package. So when we ship LC Google sign in editor. So previously what we were doing was we were shipping it with the text called latest. So what it was doing was it was picking 11.2.0 for 11.4.0 for few and 11.0.4 for few. And it kind it, it was giving problem when it comes to executing these projects. Similarly, what was happening was we were shipping design with latest and what it was doing was um, it was pulling version based on what was available and you have other plugins like Facebook which was enforcing 25.3.1 and uh, what we figured was actually 26.x series is not that stable and it was creating problem when it comes to running the projects. So we also decided to hard code it to 25.3.1 but you should keep a watch on both of them depending on uh, whether this whether versions related to this is higher in your project or version related to com.android.support is higher in your project and you should make the changes accordingly either in our plugin or in the other plugins that you are using so this is about it now let me just show you what happens so if you have an incorrect version suppose I will say type 11.13.3.3 and this is just an invalid plugin so I have, uh, this is my Android folder. Now, the moment I go to resolve these libraries, all right, the resolution is complete. Now, when this happens, I have 
list services 11.2.0 in my project even though I have a specified an invalid version and the play services auth is just missing and uh, so this is a conflict and it's actually a problem so what I need to do is I will go ahead and again put the right version and let me show you a case of latest also suppose I am changing it to latest so let's see what happens at times it might also happen that uh, if there is an error in versioning related to multiple SDKs which are in your project it will just not pull any file at all so as you can see my resolution failed here but let's see what happens okay my resolution failed as it came came in error and uh, I have 26.1.0 version of files now if you are using Facebook it will pull 25.3.1 files and that is going to just mess up your project uh, because uh, you are not supposed to be using two different versions of Google support series so uh, so basically my point about this video is for you to keep an eye on what is the right numbers to use and we have currently inlined it with the Facebook, what Facebook is using and what Firebase is using. But down the line, they are going to upgrade SDKs and you are going to upgrade with them. And when it happens, you make sure that you keep an eye on these two lines in your project and you will come to know how to resolve it. Because Facebook does not expose this one, you will have to keep an eye on this using the URL, using the GitHub project, what they have. So uh, yeah, additional thing which I missed out, you want to make sure that Android works properly. So what we recommend is you that you keep your target API level at API level 25 also, which in lines with 25.3.1. So it will not give any build time error to you. So we'll keep a watch on 26.x getting a stable. Um, it will take good amount of time for it to become more acceptable in the market but you will but when it happens uh, you have to make sure that and you know every library that you use upgrades to that version but it will not happen another six months or say another six months to become more acceptable for example unity still uses uh, gradle version 2.1 and it has it is at least one year old so market moves slowly and according to that you have to keep your plugins in line Thanks for watching this video. If you have more questions, you can reach me out at support at the rate locomotion.co.in.